Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 2nd of July. This week begins with the Sun and Pluto in a heavyweight confrontation. There's also going to be a full moon in your second house. This is the sector of short-term finance and it's opposing the area that's to do with your long-term situation. Any desire you have to splash out in the here and now may be quite strong, but somebody around you might disapprove, or perhaps it's you who's trying to keep the purse strings really tight. But some kind of difficulty around a financial issue should not be swept under the carpet. You need to face up to it in a very straightforward way. However, there is some really super stuff going on this week as well. Now Mars has been coursing its way through the top of your horoscope for the last eight months. I think this may have given you more ambition and a little bit more self-confidence in a professional context, but at times I think it may have strained some relationships because it's a bit of an overbearing location for Mars, but it moves into a much more democratic one. Now I have to verify this, Mars is about us ourselves as egos. So moving into what's known as the 11th house will just mean that you can coexist with other people, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to let go of your individuality, which suits a freedom-loving person like you down to the ground. It also gives a bit of pep because Saturn, the planet of restriction, has been twisting backwards in this area for some weeks. It's now gone forwards. But I do feel if there have been strains in relationships, this is an opportunity for you to take the initiative to improve things. You can also become much more driven around your future plans. But there's some delicious stuff this week going on because Jupiter, your ruler, finally escapes the cloying link of Neptune, which really, really draining when it comes to confusion around relationships. But now it's forging a great one with Mars. And when these two get together, they really egg each other on and say, nothing is beyond us. And I do feel there could be one relationship that really inspires you. It could be somebody that you see as a mentor. It could be a traveling partner. It could be your romantic partner. But either way, there's a spark between you, which is awesome. And then towards the end of this week, as Jupiter and Venus get really, really close, where they will be right through to the end of the ninth day of this month, this is an opportunity for you to really get into a much more harmonious space when it comes to all sorts of relationships. If there has been some kind of breakdown, then try to extend the olive branch. You never know. Then again, in a romantic context, you could draw someone to you who really, really, absolutely, breathtakingly takes, your, uh, takes you off your feet and you want to spend every single minute with them. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, if you'd like a live reading with one of my team of astrologers, psychics or tarot readers, please click on the link below or even my new Facebook app, which is also below. This gives you an opportunity to connect with people live, both do, and also to view my information in a different context. It's been a pleasure being with you. Thank you. Bye.